So this is my version of the three card money for kids shows. Okay. Three card money has been around forever. There are probably a hundred thousand videos uh, on how to do it. And uh, I'll even provide the link that I learned a similar version of this that I then turned into uh, this show version that I use for kids. Okay. So the thing about kids is they don't really understand everything about cards like adults do. Um, so you really can't do too many card things with them. Mainly it's just um, the visuals, right? The visuals. So what I do is I say, hey, I've got three cards. One, two, three. Three cards. One, two, three. Kids can count to three. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. Um, I have a card that's on the top and I tilt it one on the top and I have one on the bottom and I have one in the middle. All right. So this is the top. This is the middle. This is the bottom. All right. Now uh, I could count them. Right. I could put them. I could mix them up. But the thing of it is that you're there's still only three. I just am solidifying that it's three for them. Right. So I'm going to show you the top card. The top card is a king. All right. King. All right. Now, if I take that top card and I put it on the bottom. All right. The weird thing is that I have another king on the top. So I have one on the top. I have one on the bottom. I have two kings, one on the top, one on the bottom. But the card you want to pay attention to is the one in the middle. King, king, ace. King, king, ace. All right. And I'll, I'll change them in order. I'll put the top on the bottom, the bottom on the top. But still, I still have a king on the bottom. All right. And I still have a king on the top, just like this. But the weird thing is somehow the one in the middle is a king also. And that's that's what I don't get. That's what I don't get. They're going to be surprised. So I'm going to put that back in the middle. Oh, wait a minute. I see. I apologize. There's an ace on the bottom. So the ace went to the bottom somehow. I don't know how. Um, and then, uh, the, then, of course, I have a king on the top, right? King on the top. Uh, uh, I'm not doing very well. I have an ace on the bottom, king. Uh, wait a minute. What's in the middle? That's, oh, <laughs> that's not working. Oh no, I, uh, three aces, three kings. I don't understand it. There's still only three cards, right? Three cards. So we know for sure that I have a king. We know for sure I have an ace. So I want you guys to vote. Okay. Who thinks it's the king? The, who thinks this one is the king? Raise your hand. Anybody? Who thinks this one is the ace? Raise your hand. Anybody? Uh, did anybody who voted for the two of clubs? Anybody? Two of clubs? So obviously nobody votes for the two of clubs, right? It's a surprise. So that's again, surprise ending, something they're not expecting. So it's all the manipulation of the three cards. First thing I did was I, you know, I got a bigger deck. I think you might even be able to get this at the 99 cent store. These are not very expensive cards, but they are bigger. And what I've got is I've got one king, one ace and one two the whole time. So there's a technique in card magic called a double lift, where instead of lifting one card, you lift two cards that look like one. Whoops, let's do it this way. Two cards that look like one. There's actually two cards. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, as we manipulate this around, sometimes we're showing one card, sometimes we're showing two cards. All right. So what I do is I do the count, 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 get them to really solidify on the three. And what I want to wind up with is the king in the middle, the two on the top, the ace on the bottom. OK, so then I put all the cards together and I push two cards over. So I'm pushing the king and the two like that. So the two is still on the top, but it looks like I just took the king. Right. And notice how I do it. I go side to the side and turn it over like that. 
Okay, now you do want to make sure not to not to let that two move around. All right, king of hearts, king of hearts, king of hearts. I'm going to take that top card. Now I just showed the king of hearts, but when I pull that off, it's actually the two, and I bring that to the bottom. So now I've brought the two here. The king stayed here. I get to show the king again. Now, now I'm not I'm not holding him like this, and I'm not sliding. I'm keeping him as three. King on top. So now I have a king on the top, king on the bottom, king on the top, king on the bottom. What's in the middle? An ace, and it is the actual ace. All right. So it goes just like this. All right. So now I have to change orders. I have to get this king to the bottom. So I do the count again. There's still only three cards, all right? And the reason I do that is so that I can put them all together and show the king on the bottom. King on the bottom. Now what I do is I push the top over. I'm pushing the two over. And at the same time, I'm sliding the king over. Let me see, make it bigger for you. So I push the two over. Whoops, just the two. And then I slide the king over to create the double lift. Now, I've got one on top and one on bottom. But when I grab it and just kind of pull it off and turn it over, it looks like I took the top. All right, so I'll do that again. Slide the two over, slide the king behind it, get them lined up, grab both, and show them as one. Now what that did for me was it put the two on top, the king's in the middle, now the ace is on the bottom. So I just showed the king on top, I showed the king on bottom, I showed the king on top, I spread them out, and I show the king in the middle. Wait a minute, why is there a king in the middle? All right, now my ace is down on the bottom, so all I have to do is square up and do that exact same move. Show the ace, slide the two over, slide the ace behind it, Show the ace again with the double lift. Okay. Put them back together, and now the ace is in the middle. Now I do my count one more time. One, two, three, bringing the two to the bottom. And I don't even have to do that, but the reason I do that is so that I can then show the king, then show the ace, and line up that two in the middle. Who's going to vote for the king? Who's going to vote for the ace? Who votes for the two of clubs? So it's not a long routine, but I use these as like a, as a second opener, right? I'll do my opening juggling pin falling routine. I'll do a first good trick and then I'll do this because it's visual and you get great reactions. So I did this um, just the other day for a group of kids, but it was so far back you couldn't really see the faces of the cards very well. So I didn't want to use that tape. Um, but the kids reacted to every single move. All right, so I'll walk through it again. Do the counts until you wind up with the two on the top, the king in the middle, ace on the bottom. Then you say, I'm going to show the top card, and you slide that king over. I'm sliding, the, I'm sliding both the two and the king over. Show the king. I'm going to take the top card and put it on the bottom, but it's actually the two. Boom. Now I show a king again. Now I've got a king on the top and the bottom, top and the bottom. What's in the middle? An ace. All right, very good. Do the count again. One, two, three. King's on the bottom. Sliding the two over and sliding the king over behind it so I can double lift the top and bottom. So king on the bottom, king on the top, and king in the, wait a minute, middle. Wow, that's weird. That doesn't work. Oh, wait a minute. I see the ace made it to the bottom. Slide the two over. Slide the ace behind it so I can double lift both of them. Ace on the top, ace in the middle. I'm not doing very well. Oh my goodness, aren't there only three? There are only three. And when we know I have a king, we know I have an ace, the question is what's in the middle? Who votes king? Who votes ace? Who votes two of clubs? 
So that's my version. It's a show version of the um, uh, three card money, right? Uh, I'm not doing the full three card money where you're doing the gambling version of it. It's just that the cards, you know, you're, you're manipulating the cards where it seems like there's two kings, one ace, then three kings, then three aces, and then a king and an ace, and the two of clubs is the kicker. It's a great bit. So have fun with this and uh, look for more. See you again.